Hello Orchid fans, what's up? Welcome back and if you're new, welcome very much to my channel. My name is Gintare and I grow my orchids in the house in Scotland. So today I wanted to do a video on basically how to know when to water your orchids. I think this is now the time of the year when things are changing so you know maybe you need to water your orchids less because it's kind of the orchids are get the orchids are getting into winter and you know the growing season is kind of winding down so um now people are mainly asking these questions you know should i or water my orchids just as often or will i rot my roots if i do that so how how often I water, do I change the schedules, how do I keep track of what orchid gets water when and all of that. So it can really get a bit confusing, you know, how do you keep all your records and how do you do all of that. So I wanted to show you how I do it and there is no record keeping involved, there is no schedules or anything like that. So stay tuned if you're interested. What's up? And let me show you what else was keeping me busy, is still keeping me busy. Um, got this jigsaw puzzle. Let me see if I can show you. So this is just the bottom half. And um, as you can see, I'm almost done with it. This orange part is just killing me. It's so difficult. You can see all these pieces, are they just all look the same. So yeah not got long to get through this bottom bit the whole picture should look like this 4,000 pieces so will probably get me going until Christmas time but yeah I am enjoying this kind of stuff okay I repositioned the camera so you guys can actually see the orchids a bit closer and basically the way I water my orchids is the same throughout the year. So I basically do the same thing, um, but in summer it ends up being a bigger job than in autumn or winter because, you know, orchids will obviously need a bit more water during the growing season. But basically all I do is I use the sprayer. If you're interested to know how I water my orchids, I actually got a video about it and I will put it on the end slate for you. So if you're interested, you can have a look at that, but we're not get, gonna get into that um, in this video. But basically the way I water my orchids, it takes about 15, 20 minutes to water them. So it means that, you know, I can really do it probably two, three times a week. I can easily find the time to be able to do it. Um, and that, that really helps me a lot. So I, kind of keep the frequency the same throughout the year. I always water my orchids two, three times a week, but I don't water every single orchid. And because obviously, you know, some orchids will be in rest mode, um, so some orchids will be in growth mode, some will be kind of having a winter rest, some will just not be growing at all. So obviously, you know, the frequency of watering and the amount of water they will go through will be different um, for each orchid. Um, and I don't have the time to keep the track of them, you know, when I'm watering each orchid and all of that, it would just take way too much time and I think it would actually make me water my orchids even less often, so, so that's really not an option for me. So what I actually do is I just look at every single orchid every time I water. So if we go from the start, so this is my Cattleya Schilleriana. It, it is a seedling orchid, but as you can see, it's actually doing quite well. It's grown a few new growths, um, this one being the latest growth. So it's doing pretty well. I just touched it and it's just got sap all over it. So it's a happy orchid. Last time I watered my orchids was about, um, actually it was about a week ago. I haven't watered them this week. Um, at all so 
you know you can see the roots are nice and healthy the pot is empty there is no water the microfiber is just a wee bit damp still so it's not totally um, not totally dry so I would water this plant so there is if there is no water left in the pot I would water it so let's get my sprayer and let's give it some water so see at the moment this orchid is not actively growing you know it's just finished its new growth right there I think it's actually pushing out a new root right there so it is doing something and um, so I'm giving it water but basically so if you can now, now go to this next one this is my Osseocladis spatulifera the snake orchid it's finished growing this last new growth you can see it's bigger than the previous one the leaves are a lot larger as well and it's dropping its leaf from the oldest bulb which is obviously totally fine so again the pot is quite dry the pot here is dry very dirty but dry um, so I'm going to water this orchid as well again this orchid is not really growing at all but I'm still watering because you know I've got fans running all the time so the water dries out and a lot of my orchids are in these plastic pots um, and there is a lot of air around it so you can see the pot is quite loose in this in this blue pot so there is plenty of air going and you can see I've not poured that much water in there so the pot is not thoroughly thoroughly watered as you can see so what will happen is you know this microfiber and oh you can see there is actually a root just coming out of the pot um, so the microfiber will just draw the water in the pot and kind of get the pot you know all the media in the pot damp so it's not you know I'm not watering very like a lot but I'm giving them some water so because I watered about a week ago most of these plants are gonna be dry and um, but if I do have any plants that haven't used their water then I don't water them so let's have a look at this one this is Osseoclades perieri I'm not sure if it's maybe already dead and um, I repotted it and as you can see I've lowered it down in the pot so that hopefully it gets a bit more humidity it had a new growth coming in the spring and um, yeah it seemed to have failed so I'm just waiting to see if it's gonna give me a new growth or not the leaves are shriveled up so I might have lost it but see even though I watered it a week ago this one still has some water left so this one is not gonna get any water I'm gonna leave it like that you can see so this media I've got here it's mainly Akadama this is like a it's bonsai media and it keeps water quite a lot so and um, but it kind of gives this media a bit of a kind of gritty type of feel um, and this is um, a desert orchid so um, yeah I thought this might fit it better what I also do a lot is let me show you maybe an example for example this one here this is my Leptotis by color um, so as you can see this one is actively growing it's got so many new growths pushing out there is one on the side here one over here there is two smaller ones over there and then there's another one here so it's a busy orchid right now um, and it's got quite a lot mature growth as well and you can see it's got quite a few roots this pot is absolutely dry bone dry the microfiber is totally dried up so this one is very overdue for watering so I really need to get it watered but I hopefully you can see I've got lecker balls at the bottom of my pot and then I've got bark throughout the pot so the orchid is grown in bark but 
I've got these lacquer balls at the bottom because when I water my orchids, as you can see, I leave some water at the bottom here. So the lacquer balls are there to not, basically, so that the media doesn't break down. Because if I had bark and the bark was sitting in water pretty much constantly, the bark would break down a lot quicker and I would have to repot my orchids a lot more. But that's why I've got this microfiber at the bottom so that basically it wicks the water up into the bark and keeps the bark more moist. So this orchid here definitely needs a lot of water right now. So I'm gonna water it thoroughly. So there we are and there is loads of water now in here but that is absolutely fine the sorcade is gonna enjoy that because it's actively growing and um, I've got this orchid here this is my bulbophyllum um, and I basically split it up I had it as a massive massive plant and it was growing in a shallow pot it got in too big so I split it up and I think there is two pieces in here and you know you can see as well this new growth is already trying to escape um, but because it didn't have any room it's gonna have, a, have to stay in the pot but I guess the next growth is gonna come up just a little bit higher and it come out through the pot so it's very difficult to keep this orchid in in a smaller pot because the rhizomes are so long but this orchid loves moisture and it is potted mainly in bark with some ceramics and as you can see again lacquer balls at the bottom sorry i know my pots are just really really um dirt i really need to kind of give them a proper um flush as well but you can see lacquer balls at the bottom it still seemed like it didn't have enough kind of moisture because the leaves, especially the older leaves, started to kind of give me this kind of leathery look. So I put basically some moss on top to just keep it more moist at the base. And it seemed to have worked, you know, I've got some now roots growing inside the pot and you can see this newer growth has got quite a lot of roots. So this one is enjoying the setup. So again, it's really dry, we've got this new growth, so this orchid is getting some water. But because it's got this moss layer at the top, it kind of keeps the water from evaporating from the pot too fast as well. So I've noticed that I actually don't need to water this orchid a lot. You know, again, I will look in in this tray to see if there is any water left and if it is I'll just skip it and I won't water it next time and um, yeah that moss it stays quite damp as well throughout the, throughout the period you know while I've got some water at the bottom so this orchid is enjoying that but you know I obviously don't want to rot my orchids but I feel like you know having this kind of moisture level at the base is really helping it out this this orchid is water loving and this moss is helping it out so i i hope i'm explaining you know what i'm trying to say basically you know some orchids like i'm noticing some orchids will always need water for example this Rolofia petersii it's growing in this clay pot it's a massive massive orchid it's got this beautiful tall tall leaf and it's got a new growth coming it's really late this time. I was expecting this new growth to come out earlier, but it is what it is. Um, so yeah, this one seems, so you can see I've, I've got it in Akadama again, just to keep, keep the moisture up in the pot, but it's always, always dry. This is the tray it goes in and you can see it's absolutely dry. So it's always dry. And I pour loads of water in here the pot is quite big, so obviously it's gonna need more water anyway, but it's just, it it's just drinks water so fast. And it's kind of a bit surprising because it's a desert orchid, they grow in Africa. So I was expecting them not to be that thirsty. I thought they would 
you know, kind of, kind of, you know, be a bit more hesitant to take the water in. But I guess maybe actually that's that's the opposite of what it's supposed to do because, you know, in in there they would you would have really dry conditions in some periods. So every time it rains, these orchids would probably want to have just to take all the water in that they can. And so every time I water this orchid, it's just set to, you know, try and um, it's just set to basically get, get all the water it can. All right, guys, I hope my video made sense, you know, Essentially what I was trying to show is that I just look at every single orchid individually every time I water I would just go through that, you know, go through my orchids and I would just lift Lift the plant up if there is any water at the bottom I leave it and I don't water it if it's totally bone dry Then I will water it and again depending on seasons, you know I do kind of tone the watering down as well, so I don't just you know pour water constantly winter or summer or whatever i am kind of you know toning it down to, towards winter but i don't stop watering altogether and i just you know i just try to kind of customize my watering for every orchid individually based on how much water it, it drank you know throughout since last watering so this is what i'm basically trying to do you know and i just but I don't have many plants, so I guess it's not that difficult for me to do. You know, if you've got hundreds or thousands of orchids, that might not be an ideal way to do it. But this allows me to just kind of do the same thing every time I water. You know, I don't have to rearrange my plants to kind of maybe put them in sets of what gets watered more often and what doesn't. Or, you know, to maybe miss the mark and water the plants too much or don't give them water when they should get some so i just basically check every plant and just do what it wants me to do you know based on based on basically how it's behave, behaving so this is what i was trying to show with all these you know with these examples of the orchids and um, and what you know what i'm kind of looking for so i hope it made sense and uh, i hope it's useful because i know sometimes watering can be a chore and you know, we love growing orchids, so, you know, everybody hates chores. So this is allowing me to do this quite quickly and it's not a chore. I actually enjoy it and it gives me a chance to look at the plants, you know, to see if it is maybe a spy growing or if it is a new growth coming out. It just, I just kind of inspect each, each orchid quick, pretty quickly. And, uh, you know, it doesn't take much time at all. I've got about 40 orchids and it takes me 15, 20 minutes to water each time. So. It's really not, you know, a big job, you know, even though I am checking every orchid and then you get to know some orchids and you know that they, you know, some of them will always need watered and then you've got some orchids that, you know, are quite, um, you know, they can kind of live with less water and they don't want too much water. So you get to learn these things as well about your orchids. But I can say, you know, every orchid is so individual just because someone is growing that orchid and needs to water it every couple of days doesn't mean that your plant, you know, the same species, for example, will be, you know, the same thing. So definitely just watch your orchid, see what they're doing. If they're dry, give them water, right? If they're still got, you know, if, if their media is still damp, it means it's not really that active, you know, it doesn't want so much water. So just leave it alone. Don't you know just don't drown it in water and you know it, it it does help me a lot it simplifies my routine but also keeps my plants happy you know i i don't really lose many plants um i kind of stopped buying orchids just now um and i'm just trying to stay with you know the collection as it is um for now so yeah it's uh, you know i don't i really don't lose many plants so and it looks like you know it is working so far so let me guys know in the comments how you water your orchids what kind of routine have you got do you keep notes or do you just kind of do it more intuitively or you know if you have any other type of kind of routines or ways of watering your orchids let me know in the comments below I'm really interested to know how different people grow their orchids and just for the end, I wanted to show you, this is probably my only blooming orchid at the moment. 
Um, this is this is actually a named um, hybrid. It's Phalaenopsis odorian. It's got very beautiful mottled leaves. This orchid, I'm telling you, I'm trying to stop it from blooming. It bloomed on this side and um, I, it tried blooming from this side here as well and it had a pathetic teeny tiny spike with maybe one or two blooms. I cut it off early to try and kind of encourage it to grow leaves because as you can see it's only got three leaves and instead of growing more leaves it actually threw another spike only four blooms they are so pretty though they are i think they're kind of going over now um but it, i love the color it is a bit deeper pink than what you can actually see on the camera on the camera it look very kind of um soft pink i would i guess it would be the right maybe description but they're very beautiful you can see the roots are the aerial roots are just um growing really really well but yeah i thought i'll give you a little treat to show you a blooming orchid so thank you guys so much for spending your time here with me for watching this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and if you enjoy this kind of content please subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next one bye